Let's check out the crazy device randomizer. Uh, I have uh, just a loop here. Now this thing can work on anything. Uh, let's say for example, load auto filter. And then I'm gonna go under packs. Uh, let's go uh, max for live essentials. And I'm gonna choose under max audio effect, control devices. We can find a device randomizer. You can also search for it under the max for life category. Device randomizer, you can put it anywhere, doesn't matter, before, after, whatever. Now right here, if I click map, it tells me to map, to click on the device header. So I'm going to click on the device header of the auto filter, and then it's going to map everything in it. And it's just going to start randomizing everything, which is kind of crazy. Let's listen. I just over randomizing generally. Uh, let's put a limiter right there, just for safety. Okay. Nice. Now, if I open this section up, uh, this is the random uh, frequency, the speed. So we can actually speed it up if we want. Get some crazy stuff. Can even change the curvature of how it moves between uh, selections of random values. So gliding between them or jumping faster. You can even synchronize it. We have all the values. And here, let's uh, actually let's jump it around. Let's take down the smoothness. And let's uh, take out the depth here of the random frequency modulation. And here you can actually kind of wobble. Well, we can kind of wobble, uh, kind of randomize the actual uh, value that the randomization is falling on. Let's slow it down. Here we go. So a bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, let's turn this off. Nice. So let's uh, fold this. We can also go to the trigger tab and here we can just click randomize anytime we want a random preset. You can also take the random amount down and then we just offset. Let's go to like 50. It's going to put everything in the middle. So all the values in the middle. Then we can offset it however we want. And of course we can also randomize. Just randomize everything. Now here we can open up the edit window. Let's open this up. And here we can edit all the different parameters, if we want them on, if we want them off. Uh, this device does only, only accept up to 16, so this one has 15, uh, but we can load bigger ones. Um, let's load, like, I think Reverb has more than 16. I think Reverb has more than 16. Let's check this out. Uh, so let's say uh, map this, Reverb, let's go edit. So we can see if we go in the list, some things are off. Well, some things are off. We can turn them on, but other things will turn off. Um, nice. So that's the device uh, randomizer on audio effects, but you can also use this on plugins. So if I load whatever plugin I want, doesn't matter. Let's load like a... Uh, what's this? That's one from Arturia. They got some new delays. Um, so let's open up the configure section here. And nothing is configured. Sometimes with smaller plugins like delays and effects, um, all the parameters are already configured. But here it's not. So let's click configure. Click on whatever we want. And we see it's been added there to that configuration menu. Nice. And now I can click map. Click the device title. And we can even do it to plugins, which is amazing. You can do it to any plugin you want, even instruments, serum, you know, whatever, synthesizers. Uh, so this is super awesome. And uh, I wish we could do more than 16, but I wonder what happens. Wow, let's try something. I didn't even think about Let's try this. I'm going to put wavetable. I'm going to take device randomizer, map it to wavetable. Obviously, it doesn't get everything. So I'm going to duplicate this. Can we break the computer? That's what I've been trying to do in the last couple of weeks. Just break it. I think it mapped to the same parameters. It did. Well, if we go down here, we can see it sees all the parameters and it's a long list. So we can just turn on other things. And I guess now we'll start to randomize. So essentially you can, I mean, as you can see, the CPU is starting to go up there only with this one thing. But essentially you can go and 
start randomizing even crazy stuff, uh, bigger synths or uh, effects and stuff like that. And as you can see, it's even be looking weird right now, behaving weirdly. Okay, excellent, but uh, device randomizer, create your own custom presets, just let it randomize for more generative music. Um, so many cool stuff, so much cool stuff. Let me know how you use it and uh, we'd love to see some examples. I made one here, right here. Uh, this is the same drums we heard before, but I had made this rack. Here we have a bunch of device randomizers on each chain. And each one is doing... So. I, I would just try to break my computer, honestly, to see how much Ableton can uh, handle. All that pitch is coming from the resonators. But I couldn't find the limit, so I guess I just need to add more. We'll do it at some point. Excellent device randomizer. Check it out. Catch you next time. <laughs>